The Richter scale is used by scientists to measure the magnitude of earthquakes. It was developed by an American seismologist, Charles Richter, in 1935. The seismic waves of an earthquake that is a 6.0 on the scale are 10 times the amplitude of an earthquake that measures 5.0 on the scale. In terms of energy released, a 6.0 earthquake releases 32 times more energy than a 5.0 earthquake. Since every increase of 1 on the Richter scale has an increased amplitude of 10, the Richter scale is a logarithmic scale rather than a linear one. Earthquakes that are under 2 on the Richter scale are barely felt on the surface. About 8,000 of these occur in the world every day. Earthquakes between 2.0 and 2.9 are minor earthquakes that are not really felt, but are recorded by seismographs. There are around 1,000 earthquakes like this every day around the world. Earthquakes between 3.0 and 3.9 on the Richter scale are often felt, but do little damage. Globally, there are an estimated 49,000 earthquakes like this a year. Earthquakes between 4.0 and 4.9 on the Richter scale are considered to be light earthquakes. They will shake things that are indoors, but not cause much damage. There are about 6,200 earthquakes like this a year. Earthquakes between 5.0 and 5.9 are considered moderate. If a building is poorly constructed, an earthquake like this can cause significant damage. But they make little impact on modern earthquake proof buildings. There are about 800 earthquakes a year of this magnitude. Earthquakes between 6.0 and 6.9 are considered to be strong earthquakes. These can be very destructive over a larger area. There are around 120 earthquakes of this magnitude globally every year. Earthquakes between 7.0 and 7.9 on the Richter scale are considered major quakes. These can cause serious damage over even larger areas. There are about 18 earthquakes of this magnitude globally every year. Earthquakes between 8.0 and 8.9 on the Richter scale are considered great earthquakes. Earthquakes of this magnitude can cause serious damage over several hundred kilometers. Generally, there is one earthquake of this magnitude every year. For example, the devastating Sichuan earthquake of May 12, 2008 had a magnitude of 8.0 and killed 87,000 people. Earthquakes between 9.0 and 9.9 .9 on the Richter scale can devastate regions for thousands of kilometers. Generally, there is an earthquake of this magnitude once every 20 years, but in the early 21st century, the world has twice been shaken by earthquakes of this magnitude. On Boxing Day 26 December 2004, a 9.3 magnitude earthquake at a depth of 30 kilometers off the west coast of northern Sumatra generated tsunami waves between 15 and 30 meters. The resulting wave traveled across the Indian Ocean, causing over 227,000 deaths and enormous destruction across many countries. On February 2012, a 9.1 magnitude earthquake off Japan's Pacific coast at a depth of 29 kilometers also generated a massive tsunami that resulted in over 20,000 people dead or missing. Earthquakes at 10.0 or above on the scale have never been recorded by living people. However, such an earthquake of this size may theoretically be caused by a massive asteroid strike, an extinction level event. It must be noted that the magnitude of an earthquake is not the only factor in determining how devastating it is felt on the surface. The depth of where an earthquake takes place and the proximity of the earthquake's focus to populated areas has a significant bearing on how much damage it will do. Earthquakes at depths less than 70 kilometers from the surface are considered shallow earthquakes. Earthquakes with an epicenter between 70 to 300 kilometers are considered to have an intermediate depth, and earthquakes with an epicenter over 300 kilometers below the surface are considered to be deep earthquakes. The Christchurch earthquake of 22nd February 2011 was 6.3 on the Richter scale and did far more damage to life and property 
than the larger Darfield earthquake of 4th September 2010, which measured a 7.1. The reason for this was the geographic proximity of the aftershocks epicenter to Christchurch. The Christchurch quake was just 5 kilometres deep and directly below the Heathcote Valley, a suburb of Christchurch. The Darfield quake was 40 kilometres west of Christchurch and 10 kilometres deep.